Hey everybody, and welcome to episode one of Old, Old Roommates. Roommates, the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle aged lens. I'm Brian Macefield. I am Christina Walsh. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. So, what is Old Roommates, Christina? Well, Old Roommates is just what it sounds like. Old Roommates talking um, and giving their opinions about um, pop culture and some of the shows that we watched that mm -hmm. we used to um, back in the day. I guess it was called, was it called binge watching back in the day? You couldn't even binge, yeah. you couldn't binge watch. Unless we had it on DVD or yeah. VHS tape. <laughs> yeah, but I think, um, so yeah, so the podcast is basically going back, re-watching these old um, or really not even that old, but like old movies from like 80s, 90s, but TV shows too. Some of the things that we'll be tackling in the near future are Sex in the City, season one, mm -hmm. and Heathers. And it's definitely like nostalgia overload. So we're really, you know, why, one of the reasons we're doing this is to just kind of revisit things that we loved or maybe we didn't even like that much. But now with this older perspective, see how, see if it holds up, sure. see how it affects us because we're a little different than we were 20 years ago we've You're been different <laughs> a little we've been friends for oh my gosh oh my gosh how old? over 20 we'll say over 20. Over, over 25 20, years right? over 25 I, I think so so it was, what, I think so it was we, 20, yeah so we met 22. at jordan's furniture mom ride oh and i want to say i was in my early 20s 20s? How yeah. was I? No, maybe right. mid. No, I would say over maybe. 20 years. We have to okay. figure that out. But we'll I think over 20 years, yeah. I, yeah, and yeah. So, a long time. A long, a long time. time. And there was a big stretch where I had moved away and to New York, and then I moved back just a couple years ago. And now that we're back, um, we get to see each other and relive old times. And I think part of this is it was inspired by... You know, when you get older, like having friends that you can reminisce and things like that. Sure. When, we, when we lived together, when we were roommates, we watched a lot of stuff. We consumed a lot. We went to the movies a lot. And uh, now it's kind of cool to be together again and say, oh, was, was that even, was it as good as we even thought it was? Right. Because we, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and just looking at it in, at a, in a different lens, mm -hmm. you know, just thinking about it and, and saying, wow, you know, I, th I thought this person was so cool. And I realized, boy, that person was just a loser. Or even just filmmaking, like thinking like, oh my God, I love that movie. I mean, even like, right. like, there's things like Pulp Fiction that we talk about at work and it's like, I think about that movie and, I, and it's one of those things that I bought on DVD as soon as it came out <laughs> and I was like, oh, this movie is so amazing. And then, not that it's not, but I think there's like, sometimes hype trumps quality right. and you're just not For sure. Not sure. For and, sure. And so I think like, like watching that movie now, I feel like there's parts that really drag. There's things that go nowhere, yeah. but that's a different episode. Well, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, things have changed so yeah. much, not only in our own lives, but yeah. also in the way that they make movies and mm -hmm. our attention span with social media and everything is so immediate and, um, you know, it was a different way. It's a, it's a different way to make a movie and view a movie mm -hmm. now than it was, you know, 25 years ago. So it's just so interesting. I think it will be interesting to look back at the, the movies and the TV shows that we loved so much and just to see if it just stood up to the test of yeah. time, as well as our opinions on the characters and the storylines yeah. and things that resonated with us or didn't. Right. Back well, I think then. too, but even with us now, it's like, I, like, I feel like we always liked the same things when we were younger mm -hmm. and when we were roommates and before that. And it was like, I feel like now I'll say, I'll say, oh, did you see? And you're like, oh, I wasn't crazy about that. Or, oh, I didn't. And it's, that, so, that so, it's surprising yeah, to me. Yeah, it's surprising that, that we have different, different takes on things and there, different likes. Yeah, like, because even now, and vice versa. I'll be, look, yeah. I'll be watching something and I'll, I'll, th I'll have you in the mm -hmm. back of my mind when I'm watching it. I'll say, oh, wow, this... They have such strong characters. Brian would love this. Yeah. And then... And I'll be like, oh, I saw that. Like, I didn't oh. like it. And then it's <laughs> like, what do I even know about my best friend? I have no idea. <laughs> well, you so, didn't like... Well, like, so, for example, I liked... The, I mean, it's been canceled, um, but like uh, One Day at a Time right. on Netflix. And I think it's great. I laugh. I cry. I really get emotional. <laughs> and, um, and I was so excited to tell you. And then you're like... Oh yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, I just yeah you couldn't, couldn't get, get into it. it. You I thought it was like yeah. too like it's like a stage play and I like. Don't know what it was. I don't know. I just, it but was, I I don't know. But it, to me, that really like I loved it. And but I think that it happens more now that mm -hmm. we like don't really quite 
agree. So it'll be super interesting now to go back and watch things See that if we still like, still the like things it that we or, like, didn't, for sure. or still don't like certain things. Um, so we're looking forward to that and hope you join us uh, on these episodes adventures adventures these um, whirlwinds of emotions and that's kind of what to expect for sure uh for sure. nostalgia overload and um it's you know and also i think it should be said we haven't gone there but it should be said that we're uh definitely middle age we are over the age of 45 if that's well that's I mean, if fair. we've been friends for 20 something years i think <laughs> Well, most of our that, listeners might have that figured that one be, out. They might not be obvious, but like, so we're over forty-five. So it's like it's a different, different sort of um, point of view and perspective, and uh, and I think it's going to be super fun. Yeah, I, and, I'm excited yeah, about we'll it. See. I'm super excited about it. Um, well, you know, God willing, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and so then what we're going to do is we're going to end this little bit, and we're going to plan on ending, I guess, future things with sort of. Sort of match game style. It's one of our favorite sure. game shows ever. And see I even, if we I even still love know each other as well as we used to. Yeah. So we have a we have a, some conversation cards in front of us, and we're going to pick one up at random. Yeah. Let's pick and one up. <laughs> do you want to pick you, it, or do you want me to? Uh, I'm a little bit pick, nervous. You pick it. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. All one. right. I'll do this one. Okay. This isn't like quite match gamey style. It's but not. No. It's, but no. It would take too. It would take too long. Yes, but it's fine. Way too long. All right. What's the question? So um, the question I have on this lovely conversation card is, what do people like about you? Oh God. So do you want to go first? I think this. I will go. I think okay. so. Only because I will only truly go with things I have. Things people have actually said to me. What okay. people usually say to me is. God, this is obnoxious. They'll say, oh you're, so, oh, you're so funny. Oh, you're so funny. Sometimes it's weird, though, because people will go, you're so funny. But they won't laugh. Mm -hmm. And that's I'm right. like, yeah, sure. Okay. But then, um, and the other thing is, because I've been, like, like in my 20s, I was a manager. In my 30s, I, like, so I've had, I kind of started off my career in a very different role than I'm in now. But, mm -hmm. like, I, I was always told, like, oh, you're, like, you're diplomatic. Like, you're very fair. And I like that. Thought. I do try and like hear everybody and I don't know if it comes from being the oldest in a big family or sure. what, but I always try and hear people out and I try and be thoughtful and diplomatic. There are some things that I don't bend on. I'm a bit, just so you guys, I'm a bit weird when it comes to like people who litter. If I see litter <laughs> on the road, it really affects me emotionally. But, um, it, you know, but it's like for the most part, I really will like, I'll hear someone out. I am very diplomatic. I like being fair and a I try and be a good listener. So I think, and that has been said to me, like people that I've, mm -hmm. that have worked for me, have worked alongside of me. If they're like, Oh God, you're so diplomatic. Sometimes it's not even a compliment, right. <laughs> but I think people appreciate it. I think people appreciate, appreciate the attempt, the attempt yeah. at being diplomatic. Sometimes it's tougher to do than others, but I would say funny and diplomatic. Sure. And I just yeah. didn't, and I ruined it cause you couldn't, you didn't even get a chance to guess. Why would I guess? Well, cause it would be match game. Well, we're, we're, not doing doing we're not doing a match game. We're not doing a match game this time. We're already ruining it. So, and also, yeah, and also, you're uh, very, um, you're a man of few words, is what most people say. I think too, or is that just uh, me? Uh, yeah, Chris, so, you know, what would um, people? What what, what do, do people, people like, like about me? About I will tell you. you what people like about me. I am hilarious for one. If people have said this to you. People have said this okay. to me right. that um, I'm very positive. That's I true. always see, you know, the bright side of life, but it's usually in a snarky, sarcastic way, of course. which makes people think um, you're funny. Think I'm funny. Yeah, exactly. Right. So I do think, um, you know, I carry with me a little bit of a shock value as well. So yes. and being a preschool teacher, that really comes in handy mm -hmm. as long as you're um, Keep it kind of on the, the yeah. down low about it. Yeah. Um, but I do, I think that people think that I'm, you know, they, they appreciate my humor. They do. They appreciate my humor and they, they appreciate that, um, I'm a positive person and I'm, I'm not someone that's going to be whining or complaining. Mm -hmm. Um, I do that in a funny way. Mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> I do complain, but in, in, a, in more of a funny way. So funny, funny and positive. Yes. Funny and positive. That's me. Right. So. And, you know, any of my friends that are listening, please feel free to pipe in. We have, um. An email address, which is old roommates pod at gmail.com. Yes. Shoot us all your questions, questions comments, arms, hate, in, hate, hate emails. Yeah, hate well, fine. yeah, well, we, yeah, that's I'm fine. diplomatic, like I said. So, I mean, I can, I can see through the hate. Yes. And um, also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. 
at old roommates. You know, and we also want to know what you guys would like us to watch, um, watch and oh, chat good, about. Yeah. Um, we won't always take your suggestions, but it will be good for, <laughs> it'll be good for a laugh. Um, yeah. No, honestly, uh, we'd love to hear, you know, what you're thinking about the podcast, but also, you know, send in some suggestions and uh, maybe it's something that we would be interested in, in watching and talking about. Yeah. So, so it's oldroommatespod um, at gmail.com and oldroommates on um, Instagram and Facebook. Right. Yes. Right. And that will do it. Okay. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs> Till is next recording? time. So <laughs> it is recording. So thanks so much for listening. We're excited for this little venture. We'll talk to you next time. Take ah, care. Ah, bye. <laughs>